These days, you might find yourself going on a rolling sushi and joints in Denver, puffing while painting in Portland, Oregon ripping a vape on a party bus tour of San Francisco. In other words, getting stoned on the go has gotten a lot more creative than just toking up in the parking lot before a show. In states where recreational cannabis is legal, you can now find bud and breakfasts for lodging, ganja-fueled empowerment getaways for women, and even spiritual church services to put you in tune with a higher power. Here are 10 of the best cannabis experiences you'll find coast to coast. Multnomah Falls Tour in Portland, Oregon High Five Tours offers an outing within Portland, Oregon that's a lot of fun, after all, smoking pot on a private party bus with your crew or a handful of new friends is already super appealing. But you can really take it up to 11 with the Multnomah Falls Tour, which heads into the Columbia River Gorge to see Portland's most beloved waterfall. No, seriously, Multnomah Falls is so revered there's a Lego version in the PDX airport. After taking in the falls, you'll have a chance to see the gorge from above at Vista House, a scenic overlook, with a stop at a dispensary to stock up on supplies. Puff, Pass and Paint founded by Denver-based landscape painter Heidi Keys Puff, Pass and Paint began with painting classes in Colorado. It has now expanded to dozens of art-based classes and tours in 13 cities across the U.S. including Washington, D.C., and Boston. These classes are held in private residences and BYOMJ, bring your own Mary Jane, but smoking, vaping and eating edibles are all encouraged, though not required. The company also offers puff, pass and bake cooking classes where you'll learn how to make, butter, cannabis-infused butter for baking, as well as other infused concoctions from ice cream to hard candy. Glowing Goddess Getaways open only to those who identify as women, Glowing Goddess Getaways are weekend ganja retreats meant to be shared with a few of your favorite friends, so long as you don't mind glamping. The retreats are held at private outdoor destinations across the U.S. in states where recreational marijuana consumption is legal. The experience combines all-you-can-consume cannabis, from dab bars loaded with smoky rips of shatter to infused chocolate fountains to platters of joints, with activities from yoga to dance to meditation meant to uplift and empower your inner goddess. Cannabis Supper Club in Los Angeles Leave it to Los Angeles to combine cannabis and hot cuisine for a high-flying, exclusive fine dining experience. The Cannabis Supper Club counts great strains of flour as just one of the Cali Fresh Farm to table ingredients that are the backbone of a great meal. Chefs, growers, mixologists, and event specialists team up to create one-of-a-kind meals in private spaces that skirt the state's public consumption laws. Strains of cannabis are paired with each course or incorporated into the dishes the way you typically include fine wine in a dinner. Every supper club is different, but one thing is for sure, the munchies hit different when you're slurping shigoku oysters and dashi dusted filet to satisfy your cravings instead of emptying a stale bag of Cheetos into your mouth. Cannabition Immersive Cannabis Museum in Las Vegas You can't currently get high inside Cannabition, the world's first museum dedicated entirely to weed, although founder JJ Walker hopes that will change at some point in the future. Hit up a dispensary or one of the city's new cannabis social lounges to blaze up before heading to this immersive, highly Instagram-friendly museum, or just pop an edible an hour before arriving and you'll be in exactly the right state of mind. Inside you can ride a slide into a pool of kind bud or snap a selfie lighting joint that is longer than you. But besides the fun photo ops, Cannabition is also educational, giving a great history of the cannabis plant's biology, use and the culture around it. Bud and Breakfast, multiple locations this expanding brand has cannabis-friendly properties around the world where vaping, and in some cases smoking, is allowed in rooms or public spaces. In the town of Idlewild in the San Jacinto Mountains, about 100 miles from Los Angeles, Hicksville Pines Bud and Breakfast is the first of its kind in the state. There are 10 themed rooms and smoking is allowed in room 420. All common areas are also weed-friendly providing you vape, along with, community vaporizers are on offer. Sushi and joint rolling in Denver in Denver, my 420 tours offers a number of cannabis-focused experiences including a sushi and joint rolling class. First, you learn to hand roll a dispensary professional quality joint packed with the herb of your choice, before class, you'll get a coupon to purchase 2 grams of weed for $10 from a local recreational dispensary. 
After perfecting your spliff, it's time to head outside and puff in the designated smoking area before returning to the classroom to learn how to roll sushi. Held every Thursday, Friday and Saturday in a residential space, so you can legally smoke outside, the two-hour class frequently sells out. The experience costs $79 per person. Mary Jane Fonda in Portland, Oregon founder Amaret Jans busts both stereotypes and moves with Mary Jane Fonda, a pop-up fitness experience in which participants get more than their heart rates high. Forget the picture of couch lock and munchies you might have in your head when you picture blazing. Instead, this blend of aerobics, yoga, and smoke sessions lasts longer than your typical workout and instead becomes a party dedicated to wellness on all fronts. Cannabis-infused city cruise tours, San Francisco If you want a VIP cannabis experience in San Francisco then sign up for Emerald Farms Cannabis-infused city cruise tour. Ride in style in a luxury limo and as you check out San Francisco's most famous sites and weed-focused tourist attractions. The cannabis-infused city tour is a great way to meet local enthusiasts and see the city while you're doing it, says Victro Pinho, the CEO and founder of Emerald Farm Tours. All through the lens of someone who cares about the community and not just the business. Oh, and you can smoke weed. You'll also get top-shelf VIP treatment at all the retail cannabis lounges you visit and deep discounts on cannabis that's only offered only to tour guests. Puff Puff Pour. Portland, Oregon, Oregon was the first state in the U.S. to decriminalize possession of small amounts of cannabis in 1973. It was the third state to legalize recreational marijuana and today, one of its biggest industry issues is its weed surplus. With all this herb, it's little wonder Oregon also has some cool cannabis experiences. Puff Puff Pour by the Oregon Cannabis Concierge as a twist on food and beverage pairings by replacing the food with weed. During the two-hour sessions, you'll sample three unique strains of cannabis via a vape pen paired with three carefully selected beverages from craft beer to small batch spirits and even cold brew coffees depending on the herb. You'll also have an opportunity to speak with the cannabis farmers about the strain selected for your pairing.